Welcome back. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Glory Hunter with me, Dr. Benji FM. I hope you're well. That's what we have so far, then. We need to try and conquer England with an FA Cup win. The Champions League runners up in recent seasons. It'd be great to get back there and hopefully this time win it. And this squad, I believe, is definitely capable. That Velasco signing is a pivotal part to that. So here we go. Let's let's delve in. Um, I expect them to win. They should win. How can we? How could we not win? You know, this should be this should be a doddle. Wait, that's not tier one under. They've not re-signed tier one under, have they? Surely not, viewers. Oh, it's Lucas Hernandez, a player that I think I signed for Milan uh, or sold from Bayern, one or the other. I've definitely managed him at some point. So they've just got Hernandez at left back, and it really freaked me out. Of course, I think Tio Hernandez is still at Arsenal in the save as it goes all the way back to Livakovic. And then Kunde's there for them now, Tonali. So yeah, it's a mix, really, of players that we obviously had and some recent signings. We left Milan quite a long time ago now. Of course, it's since Bayern and uh, and since the, the, the recent times at Liverpool. Andy Robertson finds Erling Haaland. Oh my goodness me. He nearly broke the crossbar. Milan back on it again. There's Isaac, played in Kulazewski. All the way back to Tonali, who's just sort of trying to patrol things. Goes all the way back to the goalkeeper. It forces us out a little bit. Gives them a little bit more space in behind. And our pressing game there... It's not particularly Boss, strong. A lot of our width obviously comes from the full backs. There's a nice header back. Trent forward to Erling Haaland. Big chance. Pushed wide. And uh, defensively really good. It'll force a corner though, which will be on in no in no time at all. Of course, the the, the big man, James Ward Prowse. And by big man, I mean big in terms of good attributes for crossing. Swings it in. But this time, no goal. Saj. All right, Milan trying to work something. Velasco's in on it though. Salah to Ward Prowse. And this looks quite dangerous, although Milan deal with it quite well. We do get the ball back as they hurry it forward. Trent, nice ball inside. Of course, club captain now, Trent. Wonderful from Ward Prowse. Great finish from Ezekiel Afonso. And the 1-0 lead. A lovely, lovely ball from James Ward Prowse. We brought him in. I thought I thought I'd brought him in as a bit of a squad player, but no. We've actually brought him in to be at the heart of everything. It's a really, really good pass. A great midfield run as well. Late into the penalty area. James Ward Prowse just puts it in an area. And there's Alfonso. Great finish. It's 1-0 Liverpool. Look at us fly. James Ward-Prowse, by the way, is the best player football manager this year and last year and the year before that. He's really, really good. Um, Milan now, though, ball to the back post. Kulazewski, and just as we score to give ourselves the lead, Milan equalise very, very quickly. Now, the chances are both sides are likely to qualify for the uh, for the knockout stages but of course we'd love to be top of the group as things stand right now then Milan have been pretty quiet in the game they've had a lot more possession than we have but chance wise we've certainly created more uh it was a good first half performance no no I'm not going to say that we can very much win that match keep working hard or win this match keep working hard uh I need you to change the game for us you can all change the game I mean from a draw to a win I guess is what we're saying. We'll obviously keep an eye on some of the players as well. Salah's not having a great game. Neither's Fabinho. The back two, not at their best right now. We'll certainly encourage in a 1-1. They should react positively. Although Milan might have a free kick here. Although, well, they do have a free kick here. Alisson, be ready, mate, please, by all means. As he just about keeps it out. The challenge comes in as well. The danger not over, though. Blocked. Singo heads it forward. Trent heads it back. Is there a break on? No, never mind. Go on, technology. Yeah, that's... Clear cut, isn't it? No idea. Absolutely no idea. Still Liverpool 1, Milan 1 though. Salah, with half an hour to go, is having little to no impact as there's a highlight just starting. Luis Diaz had a really good recent performance for me. He scored a great goal as well. Uh, we're going to bring him on. And Pellegrini is going to come on for Fabinho. Not just because he might be able to understand the language that the Milan players are speaking, because he's actually quite a good player. Here we go then. 20 minutes left. We'll go more positive. We'll try and speed things up a little bit. Velasco, again, could and should have more of an impact. Just realised there, Joe Gomez. Uh, I didn't sign him at Milan, but of course, former Liverpool player in their ranks as they try not the ball around quite neatly. Isaac's find his way in behind a little bit. Trent's got some defending to do, and boy, does he do it. Brilliant challenge from Trent Alexander-Arnold. And now racing forward, looks for Erling Haaland. It's all about that first touch. It was pretty good. The second was even better. The finish was abysmal. Uh, three minutes to go. I guess we can make one final change. Uh, Almada's going to come in for Velasco, but it doesn't look as if we're going to get one final moment. I mean, look, we're in the final minutes of the game. We might as well push players on. If they score now, I'll obviously be very, very pained. Oh, my word. There's a chance. We've pushed players on. They flicked it on. I've moved my fullback forward. Robertson's the wrong side. Ball played into Benjamin Sesco. We've fouled him, you buffoon! Who was that there? 
Who was that? Umbacano, you moron. I can't believe it. Shambles. We're going to concede a penalty late on. The penalty's been awarded. We need Alistair Becker to produce a miracle. He's not good at saving penalties. He barely moves. In the final moments, they got the wrong side because I decided to bomb on for a winner. And we're going to end up losing, are we? We are. Brilliant. Our Champions League success is at risk. Isaac scores. And that'll be that then. Great. Oh, look at the bottles in the chat as well. That only makes it worse. We're playing Zenit. We're at full strength. So we're at full strength. We're really not at full strength. We've got all sorts of issues. Um, that solves some of them. We basically don't have James Ward Prowse, who's been pivotal. He's out for five weeks to eight weeks. So a long time. And also, he's of that age as well, where if he starts getting like recurring injuries on his hip of all places he's 34 like that could be the end of James Ward Prowse but Trent comes in to play centrally and obviously he's quite good as a central midfielder I have big space to my left and I wish I could put stuff in it really uh Trent with a delivery oh off the bar early hello is that gonna count I don't know I don't know if that's gonna count I don't think it is I guess we'll see standing desk I love my current desk though this is the thing like big financial takeover at Derby maybe maybe <laughs> have i just have i said i love the country of south korea um one nil there we go but my god it blows my like blows my mind go on erling go on finish oh he has finished cool calm and composed no the balloon's on the floor down here do you want to see the balloon it's looking a bit sadder it's getting smaller is the balloon i know i know mate i know harlan scores new monitor i don't i don't need a new monitor either. it's really bad i don't like i bought everything last year everything i bought last year like is, is still fine i'm i'm not good at honestly i'm really not good at spending money um i'm like i'm really quite bad at it i, like, I keep all the stuff my dad set up but that's not for me though is it so it doesn't i don't think, I don't think that, that's allowed really uh hi from japan ben it's time for uh, bed here what's say excited for derby and i hope you have a great stream thanks mate that's very kind um i want to say uh, thank you in japanese but i don't know what it is and i was going to say a word in japanese and again i want to i don't want to i don't want to guess and be wrong because that'd be the end of me get ellie something yeah but i need to spend i need to make i need to create business expenses so there's there basically there's two guys that are convinced that i'm just i i moved glory hunter to twitch for financial reasons they j uh like blow, it genuinely blows my mind the smart financial choice would be to keep it on youtube and do it daily on youtube and and just just do it regardless of whether people like it or not erling harland is sick i i, I moved it off youtube so i could have more fun making youtube videos that that's the primary reason i did it to make myself happier and i feel like i did, i feel like for everyone i've made a good choice i think glory hunter is well suited to twitch and i think the derby series is going to be great if i if my youtube comment if my youtube channel was based around making money then it would be hey, it would be a completely Hope different place <laughs> it'd be, the content Loving would be so different to what you for. get I make I make I make really like I I make really solid money doing this as a job, right? I, I won't I won't bullshit you. You can see how many subscribers I've got on Switch. It's not that hard to work out, right? You can probably you can probably figure it out. I have, I have a couple of brand deals every month as well, which which tied me over nicely. Things are good, right? We're in a, I'm in a, I'm in a nice spot. I don't need to take Glory Hunter and put it on Twitch to make more money. That is that is that is just bollocks. It's very difficult to have that conversation in the YouTube comment section, though. Uh, is that on size? Oh my word! We are Zenit is getting smashed up here. You lot support me in like a ridiculous way to the point where I could never have dreamed of it. Here's I'm very, very lucky. Uh, that's a strong team performance, and we can rest pretty much everyone for the league as well. So, are you not maximising earning money because the strategy to do so wouldn't make you happy? Well, you, you get it. Luis Diaz is upset. I'd probably sell Luis Diaz, but I don't think I'm going to be here for another year. Oh, he's very angry. Um, uh, I'm going to have to sell you then, mate. I guess I could... Oh, I don't want to leave the club. I'll happily wait for my chance. So I just threaten that and he's chilling. Amada's been so good. How do I not throw him in? Is there a plan for the showdown to increase the comp uh, competitive places? Um, Nope. I think they're being more like I think that I think the, the amount of quality streamers that exist right now 
is a great problem. To me, it's like having like Man City squad or Liverpool squad or France's national team. Like I love <laughs> I love the depth of streamers we've got now so that when when people can't make it, I'm always bringing someone in who's great. I have to make lovely choices. Tough choices, but great choices. And I, I know every, every showdown, I'm not selecting four or five people or 10 people that would be great. Like, it's, 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 a, it's a good feeling. So the Saturday, it's very much a content day, if I'm honest. Like, if you, wanna, if you want me to, if you want me to, what's, what's the phrase? So if you want me to uh, months, strip it camera, back a bit, Saturday's, <sighs> thanks Tom, not a new camera. No, not a new camera, just better lighting. Um, Saturday is very much a content day. Like, it's not a, it's not necessarily about the league format, right? There's still going to be seeding. That's on side, right? That's got to be on side. Um, yeah, which we're like, we, we, we want nine creators to interact with one another on a Saturday. Like, the action that you get on a Saturday is really interesting. It's a great build for Sunday's, like, eventual winner. They, it, great, it creates great story for future showdowns. You have to be. You have to accept losing in Football Manager. Do you know why? Because you, sometimes it's not your fault. Like sometimes you're losing FM, and it's like just nothing to do with the decisions you've made. Sometimes your players just do silly things. Like it's one of them, isn't it? I had a great time listening to you being dissed by the other podcast afterwards. I don't think he dissed me too bad, right, mate? How good is Harland right now? These just aren't offside. Why am I having to watch both of these? I'll never, I'll, uh, if I never win a showdown, I don't mind because I think of five of like the top 10 moments ever in showdown history and I'm pretty sure I'm in five of them and I've never lost. Oh, sorry, I've never won. Sorry, I've always lost. I've never won. I'll take, I'll take that. You're on the streamer side or the lowdown side for the next showdown. It's not being decided yet. Oh yeah, Courtois scoring the first ever goalkeeper goal. Mate, Haaland is, is on one right now. I understand if you draft like this, you've got a much better chance of winning. I understand. But if I win not doing that, I get to say, I told you, I can win without doing it the way I'm told you have to do it. Do you know how many times I hear that you've got to have big meaty men and you've got to have fast, strong, big players and you've got to play 4-3-3 and, you, and you've got to have like all these things. I don't want to win like that. That's so boring to me. I don't want to win like that. I don't want to win. I want to win my way. I want to win in a way where, yes, I rely on one big player or a certain system that no one can figure out. That's what I want to do. I don't want to just play 4 3 3. I, I, just, I just don't. I'm sorry. I just don't. Like, I'm sure I could. Like, I'm sure I could do it. I could play to the odds of the tournament more. That's just not that's just not the way I want to do it. I want to win with a system that no one's ever won with before. Because I think that's cool. Like, the way Z's won. I, I love the way Z's won. Z's won twice playing, like... Like, the one he, the one he won recently, he played, he played, like, such a different way to everyone else. So, no one's ever won Strikerless before. No one's ever won with a Strikerless system before. Like, I might have to bring Blanco Ball to the showdown. I might have to showcase Matt Blanco's abilities. I mean, if I win with it, then I could bring Blanco into a showdown. You know, it all works oh, out. Go on, Mo. Hey, hello. 5 0. Leicester have been getting it here. I should really make changes. Um, Harlan's got four. We'll keep Harlan on. Let's change up the team a bit. I really want to bring on Solanke. I won't bring on Solanke. Ah, oh, man, I got, I'm going to save the, the third one, actually. You and Mike were so unlucky in the last showdown. I looked, I looked, through, the, I looked through all the data of the last showdown. Like, I could do it on stream one day. I don't think anyone would mind. I looked through all the data of the last showdown. Whoa! Boom. Uh, me and Mike were really unlucky in the last showdown. <laughs> I think we looked at it at the end, right? I should have had eight more points in the league than I got. I should have won two games and drawn two games. Uh, one, I should have won two and drawn two that I didn't draw and win. I lost I lost all of the games. And I should have won two and drawn two. Which is wild. I should have ended up with nine points. Which people would argue, well, you would have still been in the elimination game. Depends when I do it. You know how big morale is in FM. I'm sure you all know how big morale is in FM. Like, that depends. 
say they're my first three games, do you think I'm going to be in the elimination game if I win my first three? No way. No chance. It, the, the structure of the weekend then is so different. Whoever loses is going to have like an unlucky rough weekend. You just you can't really help it. So if it's me, ah, whatever. Whatever. Harlan's being fouled there. I, I wanted Harlan to take it and he is taking it. This has been quite the game for Erling. Get out of the penalty area, you swine. Yeah, how many has he got now? Six or five? He's got five. A rivy. You'll love to see it. Is there one more? Is there one more? <laughs> no, Sarge. All right, we'll take it though. Another go another game, another win. A win's a win. I've really just downplayed. <laughs> That's quite funny. I really have just downplayed a 7-1 victory. Right, West Ham. Should be a doddle. Based on the result we've just had, we've just beaten Leicester, who are bottom of the league, by the way. I didn't even realise how bad Leicester were. Blimey. Um, oh, we are not fit for this with the current lineup. It's time for Dominic... Oh, no, no, Darwin Nunes. I was going to give Solanke a game. Sorry to the, the, the Solanke fan base there. I've re I really have baited you in. Tussart comes in. See the joys of having so many options off the bench. Not at right back, apparently. Um... I could give Sal. Do you know what? I'm going to try Kuhl in this Trequitista spot. I don't know if he'll be any good at it. His finishing's a bit rubbish, but he's so fast. He might just be fine based on that. I'm going to give Andy Robertson a break as well. Bring Luke Shaw in. I guess I'm worried about Alfonso a little bit. I could pay. I could play Grealish in there. I feel like this is the game because of all the changes. We definitely lose. <laughs> Oh god, here we go. Is that uniques? No. But no 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 one works in uniques, mate. <laughs> you can, I, I literally cannot find out the unique figure. They, that's not information Twitch release. But brands don't necessarily care about unique figures. For example, if you watch my YouTube videos 50,000 times, then I'm going to know it's just you. Do you know what I mean? Is that largest yet? Uh no. We've had, we've had bigger before. Oh, I guess, but they were, they were front page ones. So it's a top three, probably, of all time. Non, non front page of Twitch, top three, top four. Which, uh, very cool. Oh, yeah, apparently, Cool can play Chequitista at half a star, right? <laughs> cool. Oh, imagine if he bangs that in. Mate, this game's gone so fast. I've just won 1 0, like it's nothing. They're, I think they're down to 10 men as well. I played Galatasaray today. I think I'm through, right? Like, I don't have to worry about this. Oh, we really want to win this. Now, are we good enough to just beat Galatasaray with our second 11? I mean, probably. I drew 0 0 with them in the away leg, and I, and I should have battered them, so we should be fine. And also, I've just rested everybody, I realise. Uh, can I play Haaland here? Is Haaland fit? Oh, Velasco can play. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Haaland's not quite fit to play. I'm actually going to play Salah there and then play... I'm going to play Kjol, you know. I, I think Kjol can do that job pretty well. Uh, can I throw Trent back in to central midfield? Yeah, and then Andy Robertson. He's suspended! Oh, balls. All right, Kimpembe and then McConaughey. All right, we're fine. Could be a lot worse, right? <laughs> Still a pretty sick eleven. Uh, I'm just playing Trent as a box to box because I don't have Tr I don't have Ward Prowse and he's the most obvious replacement for Ward Prowse in there. The bench is is not strong. Uh, I'm just gambling that it'll be fine. <laughs> it's totally legal. Uh, Skriniar scores against Galatasaray. Now we're talking. I just became a day younger. Yeah, I feel I feel revitalized. Go on, Salah. The oh, whole Mo. I could probably play Mo in this role all season and it'd be elite. Oh, what? <laughs> Sorry, that goal. Let's tab into your FMs. What is this goal? What is this baffling goal here? Well, again, I've got I've, there's a few bits I'll come back to in a moment. But this goal here for Alfonso, the goalkeeper positioning is really bad. And he still gets it wrong. Oh my god. Embarrassing. Uh, we've topped the group. Milan beat Zenit as well, so we had to win it. It's quite nice to see Kaya. Kaya, is he good yet, Kaya? Oh, he's got quite good. He's developed quite well, Domus Kaya. He was the youngster at uh, Bayern that was there when I first went. And it was a bit too early for, for me. 
Uh, Hertha Berlin just beat Fenerbahce 7 0, by the way. Did you see that? Here we go then. Champions League first knockout round. Now we're talking. Right. Here goes then. Um, we obviously want to face. Wait, the unseeded teams are better than the seeded ones in some cases. Bloody hell. Villarreal, Monaco, and Hertha Berlin sneaking through. Right, so we can face any of the first teams out. Lazio wouldn't be too bad, actually. Lazio Villarreal are going through. Do me a favour. Who are we getting here? Oh, Dortmund. Fair enough. Not really thought that through. Uh, Inter versus Hertha Berlin. That's us. Yeah. And then there we go. The rest of it's pretty simple. He does it again, viewers. He's, he's a genius. Dum, dum, dum. Mate, Chelsea are embarrassing, frankly. Chelsea are embarrassing. I, I would like to win the league, obviously. I'd like to retain the league. But it's not looking overly likely. It's looking possible, but not likely. The Champions League is where it's at. And has the FA Cup draw happened as well? It has, hasn't it? Yes. We play West Brom. <sighs> Do any of the big boys meet? Because that would be really helpful if they could just be knocked out. I want the least stressful. Oh, United and City play each other. Oh, oh my God. Yes. Huge. Huge for the FA Cup in Glory Hunter. That's massive. One of those two will be disappearing. They're not. Neither of them are doing very well, actually. But that's great news. Uh, is there any other decent teams facing each other? Newcastle Leeds play each other. So that's good for us. Uh, what about Tottenham? No, Tottenham play. Who do Arsenal play? Our recent run of form is stupendous. We're uh, yeah, we're doing really well. We drew against Newcastle, which was a bit annoying, but everything else is going well. Uh, and of course, we still need to win the FA Cup and the Champions League. So they're the big focuses of this season. But being in good Premier League form, always a good thing. Right, Alisson, roll it out. Nice. And here we go. Let's, let's just create calm, creative football. Nothing crazy. Haaland's on the run. There he is. That's not particularly creative. That's quite direct. That's not a great finish. Let's face it. Messi or Ronaldo. I'm I'm a Messi guy personally, and and not because not because Ronaldo was at United or anything like that. Just stylistically, I just way prefer. Uh, I just way prefer Messi. Like I, I value Messi's creativity over Cristiano Ronaldo's goal scoring. I guess if you like the football, you like Messi. Wow. That's very controversial. Because I don't think if you like Ronaldo, that means you don't like football. <laughs> I th well, I think Ronaldo might be the best goal scorer, but Messi's the best footballer. So if we're talking about footballers, which I think we are doing, Messi for me is the best footballer of the two. You could argue that Ronaldo is the better goal scorer. Ronaldo has more Champions League assists than Messi. Great. I don't care. <laughs> So I'm talking about all of the, I'm talking about the player the career I think Messi was an elite creator and at the same time an elite goal scorer at the same time yeah yeah that's what you're saying Mickey. yeah yeah they were both elite goal scorers but one was an elite creator we've got a Carabao quarter final we're going to play though against Fulham yeah the ones oh mate I had a car accident one very recently um Oh, I'll say recently, it was probably like a year ago, actually. Me and Elle were in the car at the time, which has made it a lot funnier. Um, and I answered the phone, and Elle, Elle loves it, so I put it on speaker. <laughs> I, I think I told this on stream, didn't I? Um, they were like, we're ringing, we're ringing about your accident. I went, oh, I, fantastic. I'll tell you what, I was hoping you'd ring. Um, yeah, we just wanted to check about your insurance. And if, you, if you're insured, I went, well, that's the thing. We, we weren't. We've been waiting for this call. So, so they go, oh, yeah, okay, so can you just give us some details on the accident? I went, well, I assume you've got the police report there. So can you just run me through? Uh, and th So then they just start bullshitting and I just play along. They're like, yeah, so there were four people in the car. I go, yeah, there, yeah, there were, there were, there were. And, and, and three of you had to go to hospital. I went, that's right, yeah. And they went, and how are they, and how are they now? Are they, are they all recovered? It says, it says here that they were released the same day. And I just went... Well, two of them died. And they just and then you just hear silence. They say sorry, and I go. So why are you? Is, is that not in your report? Is that not is that not in your report? They go. No, I go. Well, you best get your facts straight. You know, awful. This it's real life. Are you there still? Oh, they've gone. Would you look at that? 
Yeah, phone down. Just like, just, what? Why? What are you trying to achieve? Make it. Who's who, right? I've got to be honest. Whose bright idea was it? To go. What we'll do is we'll set up. A, we'll set up. This is genius. We'll set up a call center and we'll ring people up and tell them they've been in an accident as if they've forgotten. Now, unless they're getting amnesia from it, like. What do you think? What, what's what's the best case scenario? Someone goes, oh, I don't think I was in an accident, but if you've got the police report, then well, I must be. It's like nonsense. Who's 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 bright idea? Whose business practice was that? Probably works. That's the bit that's scary. That's the that's why I don't really mind if they ring me. I'd rather they ring me, who is just going to cynically not respond well at all. Winds me up though, dearie me. Winds me up. Well, yeah, it must be working on some level, right? Otherwise, you're right, they probably wouldn't do it. But, dearie me, like, it's just ugh. terrifying, isn't it? And, and are they making a profit from this? I mean, what is happening? I mean, Mo Salah has just scored the most outrageous goal. If that happens in a showdown and I'm the defending team there, I am furious. Goodness me. It's a lovely little flick by Haaland. Challenge is made. Another tackle not really made. And so it just pokes it in. Blimey. Goodness me. God, I need to come up with a new showdown pool. For the next one it's funny because we talk about it on the sunday and everyone suggests things and i just listen i don't really i don't i don't really chip into the discussion and i just think yeah these are all these are all fine ideas uh probably gonna do none of them <laughs> i'm gonna figure it out though i don't want to lose this it's going quite well though i might try and move luis diaz out wide for a bit because this system is basically a narrow 4-3-3. Three, three. There's, not, there's not a whole lot more to it than that, to be honest. It's good, though. What if the pool was nine nations where each competitor picks one and everyone has to have two players from each nation? I say, I don't hate it. But you need the nations to be right. You'd have to use the top nations. You'd have to use the top nations. I'd want to practice it as well. I'd want to see how capable people were Luckily, everyone that's in the drafts always does a really good job, actually. A really good job of understanding, like, any rules that we put in. But we've never gone super complex with it. Ooh! Spicy. Two legs against Everton. Don't mind if I do. 